Sridhar Kolians. So how are you all? I hope you are enjoying the online video classes, right? So today we are going to discuss and to start a new chapter. That is chapter number ten, Habitat of the Living, right? As from the chapter, it is clear from the name that we are going to discuss about the habitat. So the first question that must arise in your mind: What does habitat means? Okay. So what does habitat means? Habitat means the place where an organism lives in nature, right? Or in short, we also can call it as living place, living place, right? For example, if we are living in grasslands, so that means grassland is the habitat if some organism is living in forest then forest is its habitat even if some uh, microorganism that is living in leaf or uh, some log food that means the habitat for those insects and those small organisms is the leaf litter and the log food itself okay so that means from that one thing is clear habitat it can be small or it can be large it can be as large as a forest grassland mountain ridges or we can say the next is deserts or aquatic habitats right so it can be a big like that but in the same manner it can be as small as a log of wood or we can say leaf litter so what does this mean actually that means log of wood or leaf litter can be house to many many organisms like small insects okay small microorganisms can live over there that small habitat that small place will be acting as a habitat for those organisms right so the next question is how will live over there is there any facility which is provided with these habitats yes there are many facilities which are provided by the habitat always keep in mind habitat is the place but only that place which will provide it with food shelter water right so that means habitat will provide an organism the very basic facilities to live right it will provide food shelter and water so these are the basic necessities which are satisfied after living in a habitat by an organism right so these are the things or the facilities which are provided by the habitat right here we have discussed about small and large but the main categories of habitat is of two types what it could be habitat habitat could be terrestrial as well as Equatorial, right? So we will call it terrestrial and equatorial. Terrestrial means that habitat, or we can say, for those organisms that lives on land. For the organisms that lives on land, and equatorial habitat for those organisms that live in water, right? That live in water. means the habitat which is provided on the land is called terrestrial habitat and the habitat in water is called aquatic habitat i have given you examples here forest grassland mountain ridges deserts these all are actually terrestrial habitats right this word actually terrestrial has been derived from the word terrestrial this word means land 
right? So the habitat on land is called terrestrial habitat, right? So these are the various categories of terrestrial and aquatic habitat. For the aquatic habitat, is of two types. Freshwater bodies, freshwater bodies, or we can say large water bodies. Freshwater bodies can be ocean, sea, or lake. In the same manner, large water bodies, it can be the sea or sorry. I am very sorry. I have written here sea, ocean, or lake. No. And we are talking about fresh water bodies. So it will be pond or lake. Right? But ocean and seas will be covered up here in fresh large water bodies that consist of oceans or seas. Right? So this is all about the different categories of different habitats. In this chapter mainly, we will discuss about forest, grassland, mountain regions, desert and aquatic habitat. Now the whole chapter is based on just these five categories, right? What we will do? We will do, we will discuss about the plants and animals which live in these habitats and what kind of adaptations they are having to live in that particular habitat, right? Now you must be saying on adaptation. What does it mean? Okay. So in next, I'll, uh, here and the next topic is adaptation, which I'm going to make clear about. Adaptation means the features of an organism that help it to survive in the particular habitat. Right. So what an adaptation means? Adaptation means features of organisms to survive or you can say that help them to survive, right? You will write features of an organism that help them that helps them to survive in a particular habitat, right? In a particular habitat. So that is their adaptation, right? So what do you mean by adaptation? Let me explain it again. Adaptation means we are discussing about all those qualities, all those features which help an organism to survive in its natural, <coughs> to survive in its particular Habitat. For example, you must have observed this thing that the lawyer is having brown color because we know the reason for this. The reason is because lawyer is living in grasslands, right? So just to protect themselves from their enemies so that they can hide themselves from their predators, they are having this color, right? In the same manner, lizard and all some of the animals are there which shows camouflage okay so camouflage means they just uh, blend their color or their color mixes with the surrounding itself okay so that is a number of adaptations are there for each and every habitat we will discuss about the pro uh, about the plants and animals living in these habitats and what kind of adaptations they are going to follow the last topic of today that is components of a habitat, right? We are going to discuss here the components of a habitat. Components of a habitat. Components is actually of two types that is biotech and abiotic components, right? Biotic means that includes all living organisms. For example, animals, humans, 
and all the plants. Right? They all are living organisms because they show the property of uh, the speech and of breathing, production, reproduction. Okay, they can move. So plants of the it is that not all the plants can move, but yes, some of the plants they show movement, right? So all the animals, human plants, which are living organism, comes under which component of habitat? They comes under biotic component of the habitat, right? In the same manner, there are all biotic components. All biotic components actually includes all non-living things. Okay, includes all non-living things. Non-living things, it could be, uh, for example, we are talking about rock, soil, air, all these things are non-living. But they are forming the component of a habitat, that means they are part of a habitat. Okay, because in a habitat you cannot survive without air, you need air. Okay, so rock, soil, air, all these are herbatic components and living organism they are called as biotic components. So in all, they are the two components mainly of habitats, biotic and herbatic. So students in this chapter, we have discussed the various types of habitats about which in detail we will discuss or we will learn in the various, uh, further parts of this chapter. And we have talked about components of a habitat and what the habitat means and what adaptations means and what the habitat provides an organisms with, right? So all these things we have discussed, you just go through these things from your book so that you can get a better understanding of what I have taught you, right? So, whatever queries are left, you can ask in the WhatsApp group regarding this chapter. For the time being, just go through and revise the videos as much as you can. Uh, I mean, you will learn a number of things after revising the same from your book itself, okay? Thank you. Have a nice day.